Hello friends, welcome to Learn and Share. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem solving strategies. So let's get started. How do we solve a puzzle? We make a plan and we use the strategy to put the pieces together and complete the puzzle. In the same way, we have a word problem here, which looks very, very, very scary to us. We have to use a strategy to move towards a very good looking solution. Let's look at the various problem solving strategies. The first one is draw pictures or blocks. We can represent some amount of strawberries by one block and double the um, amount of blueberries by two blocks. You can see the examples in our playlist for third grade. Make an organized list. We can use an organized list to find all the combinations of one primary color and one secondary color. This is a, uh, the strategy we used in problem 11 from grade three. Our next strategy is make a table. We use this strategy to find the total number of pages when the starting page and end page are given. Remember problem 10 from grade two? We use this strategy there. We use this strategy to find the reading time and math time in the months of January, February, March, and April. This is an example from problem 13, grade three. So our next strategy is act it out or use objects. I use this strategy to understand the problem of page numbers. You can also refer to the problem 10 for grade two. Link is given in the description box. Looking for a pattern. As we see here that every week, the number of coins is increasing by one. This depicts the look for a pattern strategy. We discuss this strategy through problem five in grade three. Next comes the guess and check strategy. In the strategy, we make a guess about our answer and then check whether it is correct or not. It is just like we did problem two for grade two. Now we have write a number sentence strategy. Here we identify the operation we have to use and then write a number sentence and it would look like this. This is a very common strategy and we use it most of the problems. One of the examples is word problem 10 for grade one. Using logical reasoning. Do you remember problem 10 for grade three? For new viewers, the link is provided in the description box below. In this problem, we used our logical reasoning to solve a riddle. Solve a simpler problem. We can also solve a bigger problem by solving a simpler problem first. In our servings problem, we first started from one box of pasta and then went to five boxes of pasta. The link for this problem is also given in the description box below. Working backward, we use this strategy in word problem eight for grade one, where Guinea's number was given and then we had to find Kim's and Mira's number. Finally, you can create your own word problems and solve them using these strategies. Links for all the word problems I mentioned in this video are given in the description box below. Hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.